Hi, my name is Tindai and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you another CMOS comparison video, but only the difference is today I'm going to be uh, showing you the difference between wild crafted CMOS and wild harvested CMOS. Wild harvested being the one that grows naturally attached to coral reef or the rock on the seabed, drawing all its nutrients directly from the earth. And then wild crafted being the one that is farmed in the sea. Uh, because CMOS needs to move as it's in the water for it to be able to uh, take and flourish. It needs to be in moving water, so natural waves from the sea, um, and also needs to be close to the surface of water so it gets a lot of sunlight. Now, one of the major differences is the appearance of the CMOS, the salt content of the CMOS, and also the nutritional content of the CMOS. Obviously, the one that's... Um, wild harvested that grows naturally that's attached to the rocks and the coral and stuff like that draws all its 92 minerals from the earth making it the best sea moss that you can get but also some of the most rarest sea moss you're going to get because it grows naturally and not everybody has got access to it and it does not grow at a rate where it can be harvested and supplied because of the demand there's just too much demand for wild craft uh, wild harvested sea moss However, wildcrafted sea moss um, can be grown. Uh, the one I've got is from Trinidad. Uh, I've also had some from St. Lucia, Jamaica, Barbados. <coughs> Pardon me. And Barbados. The main comparison that I'm going to be doing is between wildcrafted and wild harvested. There's also farmed sea moss where they add fertilizers and it's grown in vats with artificial wave machines where it's creating may you know like when you jump in the wave pool it's kind of like that but on a on a uh, on a sea moss scale where they're growing sea moss and then that one they, they add fertilizers and and stuff like that to make it grow and it, it grows to an exponential level where it's humongous some of them are like as thick as my finger that sea moss i tend to stay away from and it's actually quite hard to get um because people are starting to suss it out um also I couldn't get my hands on that. Um, so yeah, I can't do a comparison between the three where you can actually visually see the differences between the CMOS. And again, another telltale sign with that CMOS is the fact that they add a lot of salt. Oh, I didn't see Mexi in the background. Hey Mex. She's not in a friendly mood at the moment. She's just chilling. She's a bit sad, really. Um, can't get into it right now. Anyway, so yeah. Um, let's get into the video. CMOS comparison. Here we have wild harvested CMOS. It's slightly smaller, um, very tightly knit, not a lot of salt. And then here we have wild harvested CMOS. Um, uh, basically what happens is with CMOS, it needs to be in an environment where the water is moving. Um, otherwise it doesn't actually take and grow. Uh, it also needs to be close to the surface of the water so it can get sunshine as well. So it needs to be in shallow waters where you've got natural waves that are moving. Um, one of the major differences as you can see is the size of it. Um, this one's not too bad. It's not too big which means it's, it's, it's grown in the sea. However what some of these guys then do, they then add salt to it to preserve it. It's quite, um, it's quite soft and supple, um, this one here, uh, compared to this one, which is quite hard and um, solid, very tight knit. And then you can see the roots where it's been attached to the rock. Um, one, of the, one of the actual differences is the, the nu nutritional content in, in these two um, CMOS. Where this is attached to the coral or rock, it's drawing its minerals from the rock. And that's why they've got 92 of 102 minerals that are found within the human body. Now, this CMOS here, where it's wildcrafted, it, there's no telling how many minerals are in there because it's taking its nutrients from the water and the sun. Um, one more point I wanted to make, just because CMOS is wild crafted, it doesn't mean that it doesn't contain any nutrients or it's not good for you. It's not going to have the same benefits. It's still going to be nutritionally benefit beneficial to you. However, it's not going to have the 92 minerals that you get in the 
wild the harvested sea moss that grows naturally in the wild that's attached to the rock and it's drawing all its nutrients from the earth. That sea moss will tend to have roots that are, that, that that go into the into the rocks and uh, and it draws all its nutrients from there as opposed to the one that's on the surface of the water a tied to rope um, with floating bottles that will keep it close to the surface of the water of, of the uh, of the sea sorry um, it's not going to have as much nutritional content compared to the wild harvested sea moss that grows naturally in the wild so it's still going to be beneficial but it's not going to have the 92 minerals that's the only difference but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't um, use that sea moss because it's still nutritionally beneficial to you so ideally something is better than nothing right making the citrus sea moss water what you need to do is put a little bit extra water in there um, when you're broiling it or simmering it and then drain it off and then use that water with uh, lemon whatever citrus uh, fruit you choose and that's it citrus water sea moss citrus water yum on okay so here i've made um the sea moss water citrus water but this one i've not boiled it this is just the one that i've blended and whatever sea moss is left inside the jar i've added water shook it and then i've poured it into the glass so you can see that's just sea moss and water there another notable difference is um the wild crafted sea moss is very salty so i noticed when i made my citrus water the sea moss is very salty even when i tasted the sea moss that are boiled or that are naturally blended from the wild crafted it's very salty even though i've rinsed all the salt out and it's it's literally seeped into the actual sea moss which i thought is not possible but the actual sea moss is very salty compared to wild natural growing sea moss that's a huge difference it's extremely salty recap Wild crafted sea moss, wild harvested sea moss. Wild harvested sea moss is going to have 92 minerals um, out of the 102 that are found in a human body. It's not as salty because it's, it's just taken straight from the sea, dried and then packaged. Whereas the wild crafted sea moss, they have to preserve it. So they have to put a lot of salt on it to help preserve it. Um, and it needs that because it's, 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 it's farmed. Even though they farm it in the sea, wild crafted sea moss, it's still farmed and it's not attached to rock it's not it's not got the natural nutrients in it um, there is some human intervention which is why they need to put all the salt in it so if you like this video go ahead and click the like button subscribe share this video thank you very much and I appreciate you anything that you might like to ask put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions